Hey guys, what's up? This week we're doing something super awesome. What we're looking at doing is posting a video each day of the week on how to build an amazing human resource dashboard. And here is the one here. So in the links below, you can purchase the data which will allow you to build the dashboard as we go along on a day-to-day -day basis for three bucks. On Friday, after all the tutorials are done and added to the new playlist, you'll be able to purchase the finished product for five bucks. Uh, you can almost buy my products for the price of a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Come on, let's do this. Okay, let's take a look at how this dashboard can help you out and what this dashboard is all about. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is talk to you about the navigation menu that we have over here on the left hand side. So, you'll see dashboard menu. You can hit set up employee data. We'll scroll through there. So, this is where you can actually add your data and essentially the dashboard is going to function off of using this data. Let's go to calculations. From here you'll see that the entire dashboard is going to work off of uh, all pivot tables. That's all we're going to do. So all the calculations that we use in this tutorial are going to be strictly using a couple of different pivot tables and that's going to allow us to build our final product and dashboard. So let's pop back over to our dashboard. And now you'll see down below you'll see the top three highest compensation, bottom three lowest compensation. If we click on Brazil, or I'm sorry, first of all, if we look over at the update uh, pivot table cache button, that actually is going to allow us to update the pivot table when we add data to our employee data set. Um, that is only going to be if, and is only a fail safe, if our dashboard data uh, automatic update that we have running as a macro fails. So let's go and click on Brazil here. When we click on Brazil, you'll see over on the right hand side, you'll see that the number of employees in Brazil is four. The cumulative summary of salary is 186,000. And then the average salary is about 46,000. Here at the bottom are your top three highest compensation in Brazil. And then, of course, over on the right, you have the bottom three lowest compensation so what's pretty cool about this is you can literally select any country and you can see how many employees we have what the salary is what the average salaries are the top three and the bottom three and then you can click on department name and say okay production within brazil who ha who's the highest paid who's the lowest paid and how many employees do we have in each department so if we click on canada you'll see the number of employees is 22 um and then you'll see if I just click and remove the filter there, you'll see that uh, we had 50 employees. If I click back on Canada, you'll see in the engineering department in Canada, we have one employee, finance three, human resources two, production four, purchasing five. And of course, you'll see the cumulative salary, the average salary for that department as well. I can remove that filter and the other filter as well. Click on England. United States, whichever we prefer. Now, if we go to the dashboard menu and hit up set up employee data, let's go set up a record here. And we'll see that our pivot table is going to automatically update based on the macro that I've created. So we'll add the data. John, Tim, that doesn't even make sense, but let's just go through and just add this name in there. Uh, we'll put a hire date 0101 2013. Put the birth date of the individual. Of course in here you can actually just come in and follow the headings for the table names or the field names I should say and dump your own data in here if that suits you. Say director of finance in this case. Department name is going to be finance. And then we're going to pay, pay this person a hefty salary of uh, $647,000 a year. So now that we've added that record, if I hit control home, it's going to bring me back up to the top of this worksheet. And then we're going to go to the dashboard menu, back to dashboard. And you'll see down at the bottom that John Tim is on there. He is from Canada. We added one additional employee, as you see over on the right. And you see John Tim is the highest paid salaried staff in Canada and then also the third top highest compensation in the entire company. 
So this is pretty much it, guys. Um, you're going to learn quite a bit with this dashboard tutorial throughout the week. You're going to learn exactly how to do this, how to set up the pivot tables, how to set up the final product that you see here, the dashboard menus, uh, the pivot table cache, the macros, everything. So I'm looking forward to doing everything tomorrow on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today.